I started this when I was 22. I had to pick a place where I'd be willing to go 50 years in a row. I mean, the goal is to watch these glaciers respond to climate change for 50 years. Here in the North Cascades, the glaciers are beautiful, but they're also a precious resource to communities who use it for water resources, to irrigation, hydropower, going up those same rivers, our salmon. That's why I chose this place to study the glaciers. I started coming up to the glaciers with my dad 16 years ago. We're measuring the mass balance of these glaciers. Snow depth, terminus position, surface elevation. This is the Lower Curtis Glacier. It's still active, it's flowing. It's a living thing that is supplying really important meltwater to the whole region. What we've been seeing is that it's losing two to three percent of its entire volume every year. We already know what the future of this glacier looks like because we've seen it at another glacier we monitor for the North Cascade Glacier Climate Project. As it melts, it's coming right through this little channel. Ready and go. Point four. When a glacier stops moving, warm air can get into pockets like this, and there's all it does is melt. There's no way for the ice to like move and fill this vacuum. We're in the heart of the glacier, and the fact that we're here means it's no longer beating. It's not just different for one year, it's gone forever. It spurs you to tell the story, to keep documenting it, and crushes you at the same time. I think it's really hard for people to connect with how big climate change is. Art helps people to feel why these stories matter and how these changes affect them. That's why I want to make art that can help communicate our research. The main data story in this painting is about glacial systems that feed rivers that go out into the sea, and the temperature graph is tracing when heat reaches a critical threshold for species like salmon. I think data tells a really great story. It can share changes over time, but I also know that for a lot of people, that's not gonna connect with them. So we need the arts as a way to expose people to those topics. Getting to create a Glacier Art Show fully inspired by that has been one of my dreams for a long time. So almost every single artist in the show is someone who has worked with us in the North Cascades. There's a lot of narratives with glaciers and art about loss and death and those can be sort of paralyzing. But hopeful narratives and just the act of creation is so hopeful. Maybe I can't save every glacier, but I won't let it go down without a fight, right? That I'm going to help tell its story. I think, I think there's nothing that catalyzes action like that tactile experience of being there and feeling the ice underneath you and knowing that it is becoming less and less. Our goal is for people who come in and see the space and see the art to just learn a little bit more about some of these glacial landscapes that are in their backyard. We hope that people coming can learn some of these really personal and emotional stories about 
the glaciers themselves, about reasons why they're important. My hope is to just keep telling these stories that connect with people and inspire them to care. <laughs>